My name is Mr. Drakenoff, and I believe that behind every great person there is a great bike. And that is exactly what this series is about. Appreciating that bike. This is the bike behind. I'm Scandi MC and I'm a motovlogger from Oslo, Norway. I have a KTM 690 Duke R 2017 model, A2 restricted. I chose this bike because I think it's the best A2 bike on the market and you get a lot of bike for your money. You get great electronics, Akropovich, top class suspension, brakes and a killer looking bike too. My bike is named Kortem Duke. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Kortem Duke? If I had to choose three things, it will be the torque, the lightweight uh, chassis, and uh, the looks. I actually have very few grinds about my bike, but uh, orange rims looks nasty when they um, when they are dirty, so it's a little painful to clean the rims all the time. Uh, and the bike often overheats uh, in stop and go traffic, which uh, which is a pain as well. But um, not many grinds actually. Don't do drugs, do mods. Starting in the front, I have removed the stock mirrors and installed CRG lane splitter bar and mirrors for better looks and visibility. Uh, I've also installed a RAM mount for my phone so I can use GPS. On the tank, I've installed tech spec tank grips for better grip and connection with the bike when I'm riding fast in the twisties. And it also protects from scratches. I've also installed a KTM Power Parts tank pad for protection as well and for better looks. So I've installed a KTM Power Parts seat for better comfort on long rides and better grip when riding fast. Uh, I've also installed a pillion seat cover also from KTM Power Parts for a more racy look. So on I have installed a Evotech fender eliminator because the stock one just looks awful. So the Akropovich uh, came stock on this bike, which is great, but there were still a catalysator there then, and therefore I swapped that with a Leo Vinci D-Cat, which is much lighter and makes the bike a hell of a lot louder than stock. I have no engine mods yet, but I have a full exhaust system, but I haven't tuned the exhaust yet. Maybe I'll change the gearing and the chain sometime for better uh, acceleration. I use my bike for uh, commuting to work and school. I also use it for joy rides in the evenings and in the weekends. I do a lot of fast riding in the twisties and group rides as well. Shout out to Time Attack Squad. I'm also gonna start uh, tracking the bike soon. Actually I think my bike is complete now. Uh, so the next mod will be my next bike I guess. I would have bought a Street Triple RS 765. Uh, 959 Panigale or uh, 1290 Superduck because more power is better. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is named Scandir underline MC and follow my Instagram as well with the same name, link in the description.